Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. Welcome to the first masterclass of 2022 here in the UK with myself, Tony Harmer, and our fab guest, who is my mate, Gavin Gamble. How are you doing, Gavin? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks, Tony. Good to be here. Yeah, so good. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, here now, which is the main thing. So, so good. Uh, that you're with us. Now, I've just got a couple of things to uh, to cover before we get started in earnest. First of all, if you're watching on YouTube, you know, that's fine. You can do that. But you can't get involved in the chat if you're there. No, no, no. So get across to behance.net slash Adobe Live and join us there where you can join in with our community, at some of whom I'll say hello to right now. So who have we got here? We've got Andreas, we've got Oliver, we've got some guy called Tim in the background, don't know who that is. We've got Sean, we've got Stuart, we've got Galana, we've got Sandrine. Hi everybody, happy new year to you all. It's still new, it's only 12 days old, you know, we've got, we're not kicked it out yet. So there we go. So hi everyone and don't forget, pop your questions in the chat. So today what's going to be happening is uh, we're both drawing, Gavin and I. We're both working on a poster design, right, mate? Yep. Yeah. Good stuff. So, uh, who wants to start? I suppose. Do you want to start? Because you know you're not kind of like the guest guest. I'm like the host's guest. So, <laughs> do you want to? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Just to give a bit of background for those who don't know, I've, uh, my I've been experimenting with a lot of swirl, swirls and swooshes and lighting effects for a very long time going back to probably 2009, I think, when I first started playing with this sort of style. So let me just increase this size here, as you can see. On my About Me page, you can see the type of effects I've been playing with in 2D mm. since way back when. Mm -hmm. And I've actually chosen to focus more on that style now. Yeah. As it's actually got me the most success and it gives me the most joy. So... Uh, nice. Yeah, so the only difference being is that I actually create the foundation of my uh, my swirly effects in 3D primarily. So I build up that in Photoshop afterwards. So so today I'll be doing something which kind of encapsulates my style. Yeah. And I'll, I'll bring in a 3D asset and then I'll build on it in Photoshop. So Nice. Yeah. I remember these. Um, just So we first met, I think, in 2013. Yeah. I think so, and I remember that I remember seeing you on stage with these, with yeah. some of these things, thinking these are really cool, That's really right. cool. I think that was back in 2014, I believe. Oh, was it 14? Sorry, it, I thought it was 13, but yeah, yeah, quite 14, possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, to mm -hmm. Village Underground, I think it was. Maybe it was. That, that was the one. That was the one. Yeah. The old, old nightclub. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. 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 Good stuff. So. Let me right. let me uh, do a little quick Blue Peter for those who know remember Blue Peter. Here's here's one I created earlier. <laughs> Love it. Here's one I created earlier. So I've got this uh, this asset that I've created in my 3D software. I'm just gonna get rid of the uh, the excess mess there, and I'm just gonna crop it down. Okay. This the idea of this is just to create the the swoosh. That we want to build on. So I was looking up, you know, 2022 and what it meant, and it kind of represents a year of success and good things, good things ahead. That's what Google was telling me, anyways. The year it's of hoping. Hope. Yeah, the year, the year of hope, right? So yeah. So yeah, so I've got this 3D asset that I've brought in as a PNG, and what I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start, I'm going to kind of. Uh, not rip it apart, but I'm going to build on it and I'm going to, I'm going to create loads of a ton of layers that I'm not even going to name because I don't name my layers quite often guys, but do name your layers. Don't copy me. Do name your layers. If you want to be professional, do name your layers. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to build, right? But not necessarily name the layers. So 
let me uh, let me begin. And what I'm going to do is let me see. Let's go to the camera wall film, which is my favorite my favorite part of Photoshop because everything is kind of in there. Everything's in the camera wall. Film. Oh, it's brilliant! It is it is the best bit. It's the best bit. Yeah. yeah. Actually, actually, I tell you what. Just for those who want to know, you, we can do things non-destructively. And I'm going to add some effects without the camera wall filter, just to give you an idea of what you can do if you want to work non-destructively. So, to start off with, I'm going to I'm going to add some levels, and I'm also going to add uh, some exposure. I'm going to play with these effects, right? to get a bit more contrast. Okay, so I'm gonna play with the shadows and the highlights and just bring that down a bit. Okay. I'm also gonna add a background behind it and let's make the background as dark as possible. Maybe like a dark blue, dark red, Okay, let's see where it's going to be. So let's add that in there. And then. Um, well, that looks warm already. Nice. Yeah, let's, let's see where we go from here. So brightness contrast. Let's play with that there. Okay, and I'm going to create a group and uh, let's see, duplicate the layer again, take it out of the group, I'm going to use that for some effects later on down the line and let's go to the camera roll filter now and play with that. So powerful. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much everything can be done in here for me, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, it's it's crazy good. Crazy, crazy good. Right, so I'm gonna bring the whites up, shadows down, highlights up, contrast, bit of vibrance, add some more saturation. I tend to always oversaturate my work. I don't know why, it's just that childhood, you know, that color fantasy. I like I like fantasy stuff, I like things. Just to say, hyper real. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very inspired by everything out there in the unknown. So everything's yeah. got that, kind of that spiritual kind of swirly, um, galactic feel to it. So that's why I like to overhatch my colours. Uh, yeah, so you'd get on well with Maddie. Have you ever, have you ever, um, have you ever watched any of the streams with my friend Maddie Moss in? I think I have. Yeah, maybe one yeah. stream I've watched. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have to normally wear sort of welding goggles. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to be channeling her colour palette today, I've got to be honest. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so let's add some more light to that. And then I'm going to go back to the filter again. And then I'm going to play with the purples. Oliver thinks I've had too much coffee today because I'm bouncing around in my little window. Now, I am wondering, because I'm at a standing desk, if that might actually be... Does he mean me actually li literally moving from side to side? It's because I've got my keyboard over here, Oliver, on the side here, and, you know, and watching Gavin. And I'm drawing at the same time because Gavin's already working away. I'm doing exactly the same I'm sketching out at the minute. Oh, zoom out a little bit. What I'm going to do is duplicate this layer, add some blur, see where we go from here. A bit of blur. Then let's screen it and see how that looks. A bit of overlay, and then let's reduce the opacity down a little bit. In fact, well, neon. Gonna, yeah, make it neon, and I'm going to add a mask, and then I'm going to get rid of what I don't want. Now I'm kind of curious that that 
you, you don't seem to use that smart objects in there at all to apply. Or am I missing that? I can't quite see the thumbnail from, uh, no, from the screen I'm looking I actually, at. I actually haven't, you know. No? No, I haven't. Uh, I'll be honest. I'm very old school in my approach, you know. I'm sure there's some of these, some new, new, some of these new students will probably say, oh, you could do that in three seconds. Or maybe you could yourself, actually. You could actually. Well, we're all, di we're all different. It's what works for you, mate. It's not yeah. what works, you know, for, for me. I'm, I'm, it's what works for you. There's, there's nothing wrong. Photoshop is like Kung Fu. Kung Fu. Yeah. yeah. It is. There are so many ways to achieve a given result. It's what works for you in the circumstances at the time. And it's how you think about how you do it. You know, I've, yeah, I've yeah. said that for years that um, I think there's a lot to be, a lot of commonality, common ground between them, I think. You are right about that. Yeah. Let's reduce this down. Just going to mask out certain parts of this layer here. <clears throat> I always remember the rule of masking black highs, white reveals. Yep. Black do. conceals, white reveals. Yeah. Good one. Okay. So, zoom out again. Now, I need to make these kind of more warm. I need some more oranges in here. Okay. Yeah. So, so let's go back to camera rule. See where we go from here. Um, so, uh, camera rule. <clears throat> oh, actually, I'll tell you what, what I'll do. Yep. I'm going to add a gradient map. I do like these. Yeah. I don't want to add a gradient map, and I'm going to go to the reds. And I'm going to swap over the colors, so the shadows, yeah. Right, and then I'm going to add some orange instead of red, a bit of orange. And deep orange. Okay. So that. Uh, whoa. Mm. And then... Out of there. By the way, you let me know when you want a minute just to work on something without chatting because we can switch to me whenever you're ready. Okay. So just let you just let me know, man. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So let's let's leave it at that for now. And again, I might mask out areas of this because I only want certain parts of it to reflect this kind of deep orange. Uh, mask it out. Let's see. So you've got a mix of yellow and orange there. Actually, let's go back. Let's go back. So Sean's asking in the chat, um, what 3D app did you use? <clears throat> pardon me, to make this. <clears throat> to be fair, I've always used Blender for my 3D assets. Although, right. although I've been researching Tony. I mean, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm intrigued by. The Adobe Substance and the uh, the Adobe apps. I haven't actually. Given, yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> you got the three D collection, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So you've got Substance. Uh, I've got them. Let me just open another machine just over here. Hold on a sec. I could tell because immediately I can't think off the top of my head. Okay. Uh, what they are. So just give me a second. And I will make my way across to that. Let me just save um, it while I'm, while I'm doing that. I need to get in the habit of saving my stuff. Do, do, do. Substance Painter, Substance, Substance Sampler, Substance Designer, and Substance Stager, which is the pro um, equivalent of uh, Dimension. Right, right. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I do, I, do want, I do want to give it a try because... Um, you know, yeah it's, it's more streamlined than um i'm all for it yeah because we, we always end up back in photoshop don't we We always end up back there we do i don't you know I, i'm not i don't know how much that will change um with the substance tools to be honest i've had them for months and i really haven't got around to doing anything with them right. yeah of any any of any substance no pun intended but i'm here all week <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. But, um, Julia Seegers just joined us in the chat. Hey, Julia. Yeah, guys in the chat, let us know what's, what software you use for your 3DS heads, because I know there's mm. quite a few out there. No, a lot of guys use Cinema and Cinema 4D, which I, was always integrated with um, with the After Effects, wasn't it, back in the day? Mm. You could just jump in there and, and do your thing. But yeah. I mean, the, the, the Substance, um, Substance Designer, I think it is, is node-based. So pretty, it's pretty much like pulling around different nodes and giving, you know, and parameterizing them, which of course yeah, is the yeah. main thing. Blender, like that, the, the, all, the yeah. sh all the shaders in Blender are node based as well. Yeah. So, yeah. so you should find that very familiar. I mean, yeah, Adobe yeah. are a sponsor of the Blender project. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. They became a sponsor of the Blender project last year. Interesting. Interesting. So. I'm just scribbling like mad here, by the way, at the minute. So, sure yeah. So, yeah. Right. I'm gonna. I need to change this background, and make it a little bit darker. Okay. I think Tim's just switched us over to me. So, okay. I am drawing a tiger. Uh, just here. I've gone for a tiger, Gavin. You know. Do you know because what? One of the meanings of the new year is tiger, isn't it? Chinese new year. It is Chinese new year. Chinese February the 1st, yeah, tiger. Yeah, yeah. And a tiger is symbolic of change. Oh. And I think that's what we're all hoping this year will bring to us all, right? Is a change from what we've had for the last couple of years. It's optimistic. It's, it's a good year. It's going to be a good, you know, I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> But I think it's going to be a good year. Let me say I've gone for a slightly different poster as well. What I'm going to do, I've just zoomed out here so you can see the whole thing. I'm working in symmetry mode in Photoshop at the oh, moment with the brush. So I've turned on okay. uh, vertical symmetry right. just here. And I've gone for um, a phone size uh, artboard. And I've just, you can see at the top here where I've scribbled in um, the bit where the camera is at the top of my phone here of course different on on different models and whatever right. but just as a rough idea this rectangle i've drawn here is representative of the lock icon that you see on ios uh, then there's the uh, time indicator goes around about there and the date indicator underneath and so i've kind of centered my tiger design in this sort of region here and then I'm going to work that out and work the background out. But I don't want it to be just a straightforward tiger. I want to go. Uh, I want to go full on Maddie with mine. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. That's the idea. And I've got a nice bit of reference up and on my other screen here, so I'm working with that. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Yeah, I want to. I want to experiment with just symmetry mode as well. Let's put that down. I'm just adding a bit of blur to my image now. So. Bit of feel below. It's a good way nice. of cheating this. It's a good way of cheating on the uh, on the on the bouquet. If you want to add some bouquet, yes. Is that how you say it? Bouquet. 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 Yeah. Okay. Bouquet. Right. Okay. Yeah. Bouquet. 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 I don't know. If anybody wants to phonetically yeah, I, I, uh, I, spell that out in the chat, I just, please do. Don't, don't trust me. I'm a cockney. I'll I say it I want. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's have a quick look at... Yeah, I want to add a bit of blur because I, I, I like to add some depth to my images. It gives it a bit more... Uh, yeah. Craig, Craig in the chat is saying, great. <laughs> Frosty's oh, going there. No time to, yeah, we've got some old... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some, yeah, yeah, but... Yeah. The um, Kellogg's, yeah. Kellogg's was it Kellogg's? Well, my Kellogg, yeah, it is yeah, Kellogg's, yeah. The um, my cycling kit, uh, I actually have um, the frosted flakes in the US, but I've got frosted flakes cycling kit. My helmet is tiger stripes, um, my cycle helmet is tiger stripes, and it says Tony the Tiger down the side of it. So, and we sponsor, um, we sponsor a couple of tigers with the WWF. So, wow! There you go. There you go. 
but yeah super good okay so i'm just saving it there got a field blur in there oliver's saying that bokeh and bokeh are both listed as correct pronunciations there you go and bokeh. also craig saying other cereals are available bokeh who just, who just said that tim, tim said that yeah they, they don't know, they don't hear that they, we just get that oh, okay okay <laughs> Well, I was hearing things away. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It's how Tim whispers me stuff like you've wandered off camera. <laughs> he doesn't have to say that anymore because that Adobe have chained me to the floor, so it's all good. <laughs> oh no, they are hearing Tim now, so that's nice. Oh, there you go. They did. Hi, Jack. All right, I'm going to add some of the, some of this some light to the background now i need to add some mm. light now it gives it it gives it more of a glow in it, in it yeah i don't know call it motion blur but it just gives it more depth that's the only word i'm going to use today. depth depth like it. atmosphere atmos atmos yeah yeah, 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 yeah yeah bit of atmos yeah then i'm going to all right i want to going to add some ellipses to the foreground background do you ever find tony when you because i always do create something first i do create one first before we, yeah. you know we link up i always find that the second version always looks better than the first well it's because you've had a chance to, to yeah, yeah. run through isn't it and look at it and yeah, you know yeah. It always looks, yeah yeah be a bit more okay. critical yeah the um and, and you do it in like like a tenth of the time well, yeah, yeah. So, kind of how it rolls get the marquee tool and i'm gonna add some ellipses and mask them so let's get a brighter color there and i'm gonna fill it with the yellow and a mask in fact let's group that group it it'll keep it tidy mask it and then let's go to gradient tool let's add this I like it all i'm going to do is reduce the opacity right down and i'm going to spread these out everywhere why nice. don't ask me why it just it just looks nice just because it is it just it's just, it just is it just is and yeah. i've always used these 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 ellipses <clears throat> to have more depth <clears throat> do i mean just yeah 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 so i'm going to spread these out and i'm going to make some large and some small i'll take them do you know what? I actually up updated the latest version of Photoshop this week and it told me that my graphics card is no longer acceptable. Oh, really? Yeah. I I've got a, a GTI 9 980. 980? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. NVIDIA. Yeah, the good old 980. Cost me, cost yeah. me quite a bit of money as well. And, uh, you know, it's... Yeah. I think I need to get any graphics cards, Tony. I need to upgrade. I've got a, a GTX uh, 1080, I think it is, oh, on one of the other machines yeah. through there. Yeah. I, do you know, I, I remember us talking about this. Yeah. Uh, do you remember when we both did um, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, the Microsoft gig together? Yeah, at the, um, yeah. in London, near the airport, at the uh, Excel. Excel, yeah, 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 yeah. We both did that gig, and we were talking about things like that, because it, was a, it had to be... Um, it was a Pascal based driver at the time. Yeah. The um, but no, that's not not supported anymore. Yeah. Um, I've noticed that my my screen is now live as well. So I'm, I like I said, I was going to channel my inner Maddie. <laughs> so do you reckon that? Do you reckon that um, Apple are favouring the AMD cards on purpose? Uh, so, I, I really well, couldn't right. say, mate. I have no clue. No clue. Um, any more on what what goes on um, there? So, yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I 
everything, all things M1 these days at Apple, isn't it? That's what they're uh, yeah. what they're doing. Just having to grab a quick look in the. Jack's loving the colours in both of these in a very urgently way. Interesting uh, turn of phrase. Uh, the 980 came out years ago. I don't blame them. <laughs> nah. some, some people like to sweat their assets, you know, <laughs> Whoever's in the chat, listen, I'm, I'm old. Uh, it's a right? lot of money. And us old folks don't like change, yeah? They like to keep things as they are. But I've got a change now. Oh, you've got to embrace the change. What do you, what do you recommend I, I upgrade to if I do? What do you recommend? Well, I mean, you like you you like Windows, don't you? I do, yeah. Yeah, I... I, uh, yeah. I don't know, mate. <laughs> Are you are you on Mac? Are you? Are you, are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Always. I, I, you know what? I was, I was for years. But yeah. Then, yeah. Let's switch back. Let's switch back. Although I have got a Mac style theme. We had this chat before. I've got a Mac style theme on my on my, on my Windows. So I, I like a bit of both. Yeah. I like a bit of both. Pick and mix. Yeah. It's it's where I mean right next to so right next to where I am, there's a Mac laptop just to the left of this machine and then right behind that there's a gigabyte pc behind there so right. you know i do work between it's just whatever's relevant at the time you know or yeah i mean i produce loads of instructional media so i kind of have to i have to cover what's best for for different parts of my audience you know that's the that's the thing okay. yeah so I am right now I'm I'm kind of extracting parts of these light beams and I'm going to play with them in Photoshop and add some blur yeah a bit more of a blur to increase the depth so I've extracted a swell there in the middle purple and I'm going to increase the size of the blur I'm going to do that. I'm going to add some warp to it as well. Okay. Cool. A bit of warp. All right, so let me... Yeah, Jack's, Jack's agreeing with us. She's saying that both uh, both are good. She's found they're pretty equal in their pros and cons, and that that's kind of the way it is. It's the way it is. Yeah, it's the way it is. It works. Whatever works for you, and, you know... Oh, I heard the new, the new the Mac are bringing out a new um, Apple are bringing out a new processor that's dedicated to the, to them. So it's not going to be an Intel processor, is that right? No, no, it's an M. What it's out already. That was that's yeah. um, beginning of last year. Okay. Yeah, the the M series, so M one, M one chips and M M one M one chips, and and they. So I use. Here, because I've got Intel processors on this, I use um, external and an external graphics card. So I've got Sony right. Vega um, uh, Pro, uh, Blackmagic Pro. Right. Um, yeah, cards on there. Let's tell you what it is. I want to be careful I don't quit it accidentally. Uh, oh, sorry. No, it's not. I said Sony. It's AMD Radeon. RX Vega. There's yeah. me confusing me. Yeah. Stuff that's probably like the first time I've looked at that in ages. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I like where that's going. So I am on on mine. I'm smashing, just smashing color into into this until it kind of looks the way I want it to look as a starting point. I want it to be all the colours of the rainbow because I'm, I want it to be to suggest inclusivity. And I don't think you can do... I did originally... My original sketch had a bunch of different people. I wanted people that were clearly of, of a range, you know, range of gender. I wanted gender, race, everything in there. But you can't do that without just creating a crowd scene. It's really... But animals, do it with an animal. And, and of course, when I found out it was Year of the Tiger... That sort of sealed the deal, um, but I want all the colours of the rainbow in there. Yeah, that's what I'm actually going to do. The same thing. I'm actually going to add a bunch of colours in it, a different yeah. rainbow colours to. Yeah. Um, 
Well, and I'm also painting, I'm painting with one of Carl's brushes. I'm using the Scratch Blend, which is a blender here. You can see uh, I've got it just there. Now, if I pick another brush, can you see how that highlights in blue just there? Right. Can you see that? But did you notice that the other one was highlighted in orange? If I just select it again, right, because this is one with a brush preset to a specific tool. So if I select it normally, you can see the tool in the corner just there says that it's a blender, like a smudge brush. But if you hold down command and option, that would be control and option on a PC, right? But command option on a Mac, it overrides it and it just switches the preset to um, whatever you're using at the time. So that's why I've switched mine out uh, to there because that's working for me. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Okay. So I'm going to spend the next kind of, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes extracting the swirls. Yeah, yeah, man, I keep forgetting. I've got to keep an eye on the time as well. <gasps> How long have we got? How long have we got? Oh, we're all right. We're good. We've got, oh, man, we've got an hour. An hour. We're good. Good, good. Yeah, good. we've got an hour. No pressure. Did you have, um, on, on other things, things outside, did you have a nice Christmas? Was it all good? Yeah, it was good. It's good. I'm not, you know what? I'm not a real Christmas man, but my grandma is. So she always celebrates with my, my grandson. She she forced me to decorate the tree and all sorts. Of, uh, I had to put all the all the balls on there and, and, and I had to spray the, I had to spray the tree with a spray. You know, she was adamant that I did it properly. I had to look, put the lights on it and all sorts of. Uh, it was, oh, it's your grandma, man. You've got to. It was like a chore. It was like, it was like doing the dishes. <laughs> It was like doing the dishes when you were a kid. That's why that's how I felt. Cause I'm not a Christmas man, you see. I was like, oh, mum. Yeah. And you know, she gets all emotional if I don't do it properly. So I had to do it properly. And uh, it, was, it was hard work. You know, when you don't enjoy something, it's really hard work, you know? Well, yeah. That, Even the that's... simplest of tasks are hard work when you don't enjoy it. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it, is. <laughs> yeah. it is. Griefy stuff. Griefy, griefy. Yeah, imagine me moaning about decorating Christmas tree. Hard times. Mate. <laughs> and not loving it. Hard times, mate. Yeah, but no, it was good. It was good. It was good. It was good. You know. And I just, yeah, I just chilled with the family and uh, and had fun. Because my mum lives down by Southampton. She lives near the sea. Actually, she's oh, in, right, okay. in between Portsmouth and Southampton out in the country, out in Hampshire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, nice. It's actually nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, neither. I'm going to do a bit of tinkering here with mine. What I'm going right. to do is just turn off this, um, turn off my sketch layer for a minute. You can see all the blobs I've made just here. Right. I'm going to add a bit of filtering to mine. So I'm going to go ahead and use the oil paint filter. I used it a little while ago, actually. So that's still active. Whoops, a Daisy. Let me just do that again. Filter, and I want stylized oil paint just there and i want to try and get some some evident strokes into this i might try pushing up the stylization see what drop the cleanliness right down mess with the scale yeah i'll bring that down as well and the bristle detail Come that up. So have a quick look around in there. Yeah, that's interesting. Do you know what? I think I'm going to run it a couple of times. So I'm going to run it again and run it again on there. So I'm now getting there. You go. You can see that sort of level of stylization that I'm getting in there with that. I'll zoom right in so you can see them. I think I'm going to run it again. I'm just going to keep on pushing it. And I could do Control Command F to do that. Uh, sorry to fade it. What do I want to do? Option Command F. Can't remember which it is to redo it now. Let me have a quick check. Uh, there we go. It's working anyway. It's not a big chore to go to that. Cool. So that's setting my foundation for that. I haven't been to Portsmouth for years, fella. Oh, really? No, for a long time. Long, long time. Interesting. Hmm. 
actually living down there for a good few years with no i wasn't living there no 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 i was um i was at a camp there um a long long time ago in another life <laughs> for a period of time i'm gonna go for some oil stuff i think in here i'm gonna go for kyle's real oils but again i want to actually just escape that and do it with just the regular brush make sure i'm getting that because that's got a mix of brush preset with it so i'll go ahead and do that and tap d black in the foreground and i'm just going to start trying to paint in some shapes for the stripes don't you just love tiger stripes i do i'm a bit listen mate i'm a big fan of animal you know me and my son will sit there and watch david attenborough all day long yeah but that all day i i actually because people all often ask what what we listen to when we do our, our work you know there's times i'll put on david attenborough and just watch the animals in in, in, in the Madagascar or wherever it is. I actually find yeah. it therapeutic, funny enough. I do. I do. Well, I've never been to Madagascar. Uh, I've been to Mauritius. In fact, Mauritius is where where I married Sharon. What? Actually, yeah. Yeah, so we got married in an African nation. There you go. Wow. Wow. One of our witnesses at our wedding was the Indian Ocean. So yeah. we, it was on the beach? Yeah, 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 it was on the beach, yeah. The, um, we were married by a Hindu registrar, yeah, on a beach in Mauritius. There were 300 people there. What? Were they, were they, just, who, were they just like passers by? No, they were just people who were staying, staying at the complex. We didn't know any of them. And we'd been there. We had to be resident in Mauritius for nine days before we got married. Oh, okay. So when we arrived there, we had to go to Port Louis and, uh, and file our, our temporary residency um to get married there and it's all um it's all a bit of a thing you know but it was lovely it was really lovely and there was a there was an actual there was um there was a hindu wedding going on next door now they normally take three days and as you can imagine really loud really colorful fantastic music the whole time and there was just this pulsing doom 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 throughout day and night for three days but they actually stopped their celebration for an hour while we got married wow which was really lovely and they came out from their wedding which was in the the hotel next door they came out onto the beach and watched our wedding so really there were even more people but on our complex there were 300 people around about uh there it did was lovely it, did you get it videoed uh we didn't get it videoed no um but the uh but we have lots of photos. Someone had my phone and just took as many photos. We had official photographers, but to be honest, the person, Hayley, yeah. um, who who borrowed my um, camera, my phone, some of the pictures she took were better than the official photographer, oh, and wow, she wow. she was cabin crew for BA. <laughs> you weren't even getting paid for it. Imagine that, right? No, I know. Oh, man, it was lovely. It was really, really lovely. And in fact, one of my... One of my wedding pictures is actually on my bank card. So uh, I have an account with Barclays and they um, they allow you to personalise your card. Oh. And, uh, and I have mine with, um, with a picture of Sharon and me under this, under this floral arch. Um, Doing our doing our vows in front of the Indian Ocean. Love it, mate. Love it. Well, mad. You know what's funny? Uh, go on. We actually got married on the beach in the uh, Dominican Republic. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I could switch my screen around, you'll see there's pictures on the wall of us all on the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh. Yeah. <laughs> How is Mrs. Campbell, by the way? Yeah, she's she's good. She's all good. Mate. She's all good. Say hi to her. Is she still baking? She is. And do you know yeah. what? Do you know what? Um, so when we go to football, 
whenever the kids have birthdays, she makes all the cakes. Yeah, so does a bit on the side, you know. Bit like how, bit like what she did with the Microsoft team. She just, you know, if someone's birthday or if it's a special event, she'll make the cakes for them and stuff. That was spectacular. That was. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember it very, very well. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. It really was a spectacular cake. Yeah. Very cool. So, so she'll always theme it. So the last one she did, it was it was the Wolves logo because the place for Wolves. It was the. It's actually really good. She made it look, look quite realistic. To be fair, the Wolves badge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, every every birthday we get get the, get the cakes out. The last lot she put a bit of rum in there as well. Not 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 for the kids. Not for the kids. There was, yeah. there was the adults ones, and then there was a uh... rum's okay as an ingredient. I mean, I don't drink, but even I I don't mind I don't mind things like that as yeah, an ingredient yeah. if there is there in cooking. You know, but it was Jamaican rum she put in there. Nice, good stuff. The hard stuff. Oh man, I love Jamaica so yeah. so much. I have you ever been? been? You I must have been, been to Jamaica. I, right? I have. No, I have. I have. But I bet you've been there more than me, haven't you? I bet you have. I've been there a few times. Yeah. yeah there you go. I've been there once. There you go. You, you, you've yeah. Done yeah. Yeah. Did you, have you ever been to Rick's? Rick's Cafe? No. no? I don't. I don't. Think, I was only well, God, I was like seventeen at the time. So this is going back to nineteen. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nineteen ninety when you can guess the year. Ninety ninety. Nineteen ninety when. That's the last time I went back. Visit all my I jumped off the. I jumped off one of the. Um, so they have they have cliff divers there. All right. It's a big thing. You did they it. showboat it. You jumped. I off? didn't go off a top one. I went off one of the lower ones. Ah, uh, the, the, the yeah. beginners cliff, right? Yeah. Yeah, it pretty much. Yeah, because I mean, Sharon, Sharon did, <laughs> didn't want me to go wrecking myself up, basically. Wow. You know, but she was quite adamant on that. <laughs> uh, my, Tina would never let me jump off a cliff. There's no way, mate. She'd never, yeah. no way, no way. I'd have to do it when she's asleep. There's no way she'd let me do it. Her knees would be knocking. But then so would mine, to be fair. I can't imagine me myself doing that. Yeah. Wow. Uh, mad stuff. Oliver's taking the mickey out of me in the chat. He's saying Tony's been everywhere more than everyone. I haven't. No, I'll tell you what, nobody's been anywhere as much as Rufus Deutschler. You know, that man must have travelled the world. <laughs> I don't know how many times. I do not know. Well, I guess he gets paid to travel as well, doesn't he? Well, he does, yeah. But, I mean, it's still... A lot of people think it's think that sort of lifestyle is super glamorous and super enjoyable. But you know what? I can tell you from... It, it's it's not as much fun as, as people think it is. I think... Do you know what I think as well? I think if... if if you're not happy like being alone yeah right, in hotel room then it's probably not for you you know yeah if you're if you're a man who likes to have your friends around you you'd probably better off um yeah and i'm all right with my own company personally but i mean i know not for not everybody isn't you know some people yeah, yeah, yeah. but i one of the things you get when you travel a lot is that um people say to you know people say oh where are you going now because it becomes a thing Right, you go and visit friends, and they say, "Oh, I saw you were in so and so. I saw you were in so and so." And they, or, or you'll chat to them on the phone or whatever. You bump into someone. Where are you going next? And you'll say, "I'm oh, I'm due here. You know, insert name of country, place name here." Mm-hmm. And um, and they'll say, "Oh, while you're there, you must go to la 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 and la la la." But when it's for work, nine times out of ten, you yeah. go there. You are sometimes met by a car. They drive you to where you're going to go. Yeah, <laughs> you have like a night where you're, where you where the, you go out for dinner with them and whatever, and then the next day you finish up the job and away you go off to the next one. And it's just there's like no bandwidth for for doing other stuff. Anyway, sorry, I'm hogging. Yeah, you carry on. <laughs> Good sir, I'm doing my tiger stripes. Are you seeing this as well, Gav? I am. Yeah, neon. It looks it, it looks almost iridescent. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, that's what I'm after. It's going to have a black background. Well, a blackish background. It's going to have stripes in it as well. But And then what I'll do is I'll, when I've done with this, I'll go and put it on um, I'll put it on our Discord. Ah, oh, I want to jump in there. I've just got and it. then people can, um, if they want to pop it on their phone, they can pop yeah, it on I their phone. I've just recently joined, uh, got my Discord um, set up, so I wanna, I'll jump in there. 
Yeah. I shall jump in. I've been missing some of the chat here. Whoa. Sean's done about 35 countries. Nice. Nice. Tim's got the Discord chat in the Discord link in there. Now, people think you always get the swan about seeing the sights wherever you go. For me, it's always been long days going nowhere other than the hotel and work. And that is pretty much what it's like. There you go. But, you know, I don't mind it. You know, it's just, but it isn't the way people think it is. That's the. I remember Rufus saying to me once, you know, be careful what you wish for. Because you might just get it. <laughs> and it's true, you know, you don't know what, until you, until you actually get something like that, you don't know what it is you're, you're actually, you're actually asking for. No, so. Right. Well, let's get yours back on screen. For, uh, um, for a time. Yeah, I'm just taking my time. I'm, I'm, yeah, no, it's all good. Attracting elements, and I'm, and I'm adding the different colours in. So I've got some green, got some blues, got some pinks. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just gonna keep layering it up. <clears throat> so you you might notice slight changes over the time. But I like I like to. Oh add, man, that's lovely. I like to add the small details in. So it's you almost look at it and think, oh, it's quite simple from far. But when you when you when you get close to it, you'll see there's loads of. Uh, Different things going on. That's that's what I like. Yeah. So you almost got to look at it twice. You know. So. So. Duplicating layers, merging them together. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna get a brush. I'm gonna get a brush. And I'm going to play with the brush properties. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going, I'm going to create a sprinkle stardust type brush. Okay, nice. And let me just play with the settings now. Add some dynamics to it as well. So, let's add some scatter to it. Not too much scatter. You know, there's so many settings in this brush panel. I, I, I'm still. Oh yet, yeah. Still yet to fully explore it. You know, after after all these years, there's so much going on in it. Part of the beauty of it, though, right? Yeah. That, yeah. You know, there's always something new. <clears throat> You know, as as creatures, we like we tend to like the novel, yeah. So when we do find new things, and that, that's what's great about it, the, the fact, and new things keep coming along. It's yeah, just yeah. so exciting. Right, so let's play with this now. See where we go with this. Let's choose a color. Let's choose. Bright yellow, white. Bring this brush right down. Okay. Right down. Right. So you almost don't notice it. And start to highlight some of the edges. around the edge here. <clears throat> now I'm going to create a group, create another layer, and then let's add a bit of white to it as well. White sprinkle, white stardust. Um, okay. Let's try the error. <clears throat> In fact, let's go back to the original background. Where are we at? Layer 
three. Let's make that a bit brighter. So a new layer. Uh, about to duplicate that layer. Need that a bit brighter there. I'm gonna get get another ellipse. Where's my ellipse? Layer five. There you go, layer five. Let's create some smaller ones. Down here. And duplicate that again. <coughs> Giant dust particles, that's the thing that makes it, isn't it? That's the thing that gives off really good atmosphere. Yeah. It's yeah. a bit of dust. <clears throat> so some ellipses will have less opacity to give more of a 3D feel to it. Right, let's go back to the dust particles. Alright, so there we go. Let's make some of the dust particles. Alright, that's too big. down here and down the side and up top and increase the side a little bit let's see and let's mask some of it out all right let's get that mask in and reduce it Like that, save it. You know, I've always got a fear. Of, I, I save by instinct now because I remember doing a job maybe 20 years ago for a company called yeah. Pronto Print on the high street. Yeah, yeah, Pronto Print. Pronto Print yeah, I have to work yeah I do remember Pronto Print really well. Yeah, yeah. and uh, we were doing a, a big magazine, big job. We had a tight deadline. And as you do, you rush to get it done, right? You rush to get yeah. it done. But there's me rushing to get it done. I didn't save. I mean, I didn't. I didn't check. I didn't save it. I didn't check it. And I remember uh, there was a big crash on the computer, and everyone was getting frantic because I didn't save the work, and it traumatized me because uh, everything was on me, not saving the work. And then, and then in the end, we they we rushed to get it printed, and there was a big, massive mistake on the front cover of the magazine remember thousands have got printed now thousands have gone out yeah, yeah that mistake was down to me it was all my fault Tony. and you know and you just got to take it on the head and admit it was me yeah 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 yeah, yeah I, 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 ever since then I, i've always i've always had my finger on control s every few minutes i press control s just because of the trauma it's good it's a good thing to do and what yeah. I, I also look at the title bar you, you know, in the um, the document title <laughs> at the top there, because wherever you see an asterisk, it means it's not saved. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, and yeah. so periodically, if I glance upwards and see that asterisk, I just reach for command S as well. That's right. It's, that's right. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. And also, I do, I do try and get everything on the cloud as well, because about a year and a half ago, I'm not, I've, I had three hard drives, right? Yeah. Not SD, they were just normal hard, fusion drives. And in the same year, all three die, uh, drives, they were died on me. Oh, no way. They were died, yeah. I, I lost all of my original files going back like six, seven years, so. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything, everything went. So I, I wasn't too, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't that bothered about it, but. It's just, I just think it's important to get everything on the cloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we can. So, yeah. 
Get it backed up, guys. Get it backed up. Yeah, that's the thing. Although I'm still adhering to symmetry in mind just at the minute. However, I do want to just pop along and make a change here. Online. You know I mean, it, I th I'm sure we've all had... I'm just going to turn symmetry off for a second. Um, I'm sure we've all had those situations where something like that has happened, you know, where we've made a mistake. And it's it's just one of those things. It's just part of the job, right? It just goes with it and just... You just have to learn to roll with it. You know, and hope it's not, <laughs> not too career limiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I kept my job. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't find me. You know. Yeah, left on good terms. So I bring my. Mm. Well, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna. My next project is gonna be iridescent colours. You know exactly what you're doing. My next project. It's just crazy. If you're watching Mads, I'm channeling your <laughs> your gig. I'm, I'm on with it. <laughs> oh, I like it. Do you know there's a there's an artist that I follow, and um, she actually studies color therapy, and she 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 uses iridescent colors, and she she says that colors like that are actually actually quite healing to a lot of people. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could go with that. They're quite healing. Yeah. So I mean, there is a there is a joyful. Yeah, and that you know that I think is what we need. Need a bit more joyful. Yeah. Uh, what did I use as that on last time? Okay, so let's blur this out. Blur. So. It's all rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Yeah, yeah. Go with. Yeah. Just doing a bit of sampling here, just so I can start to add in some strokes. And I think what I'm going to have to do as well is move this up. No, I'll create a new layer for that. So I'm going to merge that down. I'm going to pop a new layer above. Right, in fact, at this point, I think what I might do with mine is just do a claw, you know, merge everything up onto a single layer. Right. Anyway, we're we're on yours at the minute, so I'm, I'm just telling you what. <laughs> just so yeah, it doesn't I'm, come I, as a surprise. I, I'm literally mm -hmm. just I'm just rinsing and repeating. I'm just adding more swells, more swishes to the edge. Yeah. More of a motion motion feel to it, and I just I'm gonna keep doing that, keep doing that, adding more light to the image. Yeah. Uh, and 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 uh, control S. So yeah, I'm gonna add another group. And this is going to be a big blur. In fact, in fact, let me not grab a brush. I'm going to keep that brush where it is. Let's just go to the marquee tool and I'm going to create a, that shape there. I'm going to fill it with, what should we go with? Pink, pink maybe? Mm. I'm going to blur this out. With a bit of good old Gaussian blurs, yeah. Good old Gaussian blurs. Yes. And then I'm going to reduce that down. And then I'm going to add a layer blend. Right, let's bring this down. Yeah, do you know what? There's, there's, there's many ways to do this sort of stuff in 3D software. But a lot of it involves using nodes. Like you says, the, um, yeah, node based. Yeah. Yeah, they've got the node -based, node, node based stuff in there, but I find it quite technical, less artistic. So I, I, I find it easier to use Photoshop and do it artistically rather than you know, link with the nodes. Yeah. Let's overlay that there. Overlay, overlay. Overlay. Yeah, we've got about half an hour by the way, just so you know, mate. Yeah. Okay, okay. 
Did you make any resolutions? The new year. To be better, Tony. That can you. To be better. Be better. To be do better and be better. Nah, honestly, I didn't. To be fair, I just. I. I, I already had goals in mind to be honest. Yeah. Certain plans before before the year we even finished. Yeah. So. I'm just I'm just continuing from there. How about yourself? Uh, not really. Just like you said, be better. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. kind of the idea, really. Improve. I've got a lot of experience to draw upon now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? What are me being well and truly over 21? Ah, plus, so, plus tax. Plus tax. Plus tax. <laughs> yeah. That's a great way of putting it. Yeah, plus tax. Yeah. Great way of putting it. Oh, man. Although I think you're in a higher tax bracket than me, Tony, right? Am I right in saying that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I couldn't possibly say. I don't know. Come on, look at us. Who looks younger, me or you? There you go. Oh, mate, you're a beautiful man. You there you go. You know. you're, I'm in a lower touch bracket than you, Tony. There you go. You're, uh, you are, you are, you are very, I mean, you used to, for, for don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. You, you brought this up last time. Let's not talk about that. Hey? Okay, then. Hey? <laughs> it never happened. I, I, I never said anything. <laughs> I know you're going to, I know you're going to go with that. <laughs> hey, oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, it's done and dusted now, mate. Oh, let's switch to you. You were a musician, weren't you? I was, yeah. You were a musician for many years. I was. Is your music online, is it? Uh, can, can we still Would you go it? to find any now? Mm, probably not. Uh, just trying to think. The So, yeah. Do you know, I, remember, I went to see... Um, I went to see a medium. Oh, really? Uh. Uh, when I was a student. Go on, then. And um, she said, you know, I tried to give nothing away. Yeah. You know, when I spoke to this person, I tried to like, you know, play it cool and just like, and and I, I don't look like what I do, <laughs> you know, and certainly didn't when I was, when I was younger. Yeah. And um, she said, you're an artist and you're also a musician. I thought, okay, well, that's, you know, she said a lot of other stuff, but she said that. And um, she said, I think you're conflicted about what you actually want to do. And she said to me, something along the lines of this choice, it will be made for you. Something will happen that will, will, will solve that for you. Wow that dilemma and she was right she wow. was there were two things um she she told me i'd have an accident at some point and that it would but i'd you know it wouldn't be an entirely bad thing she was right wow. um she uh let me bring that black player up to the top by the way um, just for a minute she uh yeah she told me a whole bunch of stuff you know, so this wouldn't be a bad thing. And she was right. I was in um, the last, so I've done a few things. I've done, I've done a few things on TV yeah. when I was in bands. I was in, I was a, one of the musicians for a girl called Adele, not the Adele we know and love yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, today, different Adele. She was Australian. Yeah. Um, and uh, we did uh, Central Pop Watch, Midlands Today, Pebble Mill. Oh, we had, one of our recordings was shown on Pebble Mill. Um, which used to be a big deal yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, back in the day. And uh, then I was, I worked with a guy called Jyoti Mishra for a while. Sadly, we, we had a falling out. We don't, we don't speak anymore, which is, which is a source of great sadness to me. <clears throat> um, really, but the, he knocked the spice. No, he, he had, he had he was the lone groover then i joined the band it was ugly pop i didn't really want to be in a band called ugly pop to be perfectly yeah. honest but um and then he he became white town and um he uh he's an incredible guy just absolutely amazing bloke amazing musician amazing man lots of other things 
I could say about him that that are good. Um, anyway, I, I went through all these different different stages of music, and then I was in a band called Danang. We were doing all right, and um, I I got my little finger um, smashed. Right. And as a bass player, that was somewhat limiting, and uh, and I was no good to the band. I was no, you know, no good to to them at all. And that was it. That 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 thing ended, and I just carried on with my studies with doing, you know, this stuff. <laughs> so it was inevitable, and the uh, and the oracle was speaking the truth, right? She was, yeah. Yeah, you know what's was. funny? You know what's funny? My mum, my mum's actually, uh, she's, she's into all that mediums, and she, yeah, she, I don't subscribe to it myself, but she's always been into it, and she yeah. annoyingly will always go and see her friend or a friend, yeah. and she'll get the down low on what's happening in my life or what's going to happen, and she'll come and tell me, and it, oh, and it will happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, since I was a kid, since I was maybe like eight, seven, eight years old, she would always have recordings and tapes and she said um she said this is going back 30 years now she yeah, went to yeah. one of her people and they said to her Do you know one of your one of your sons is gonna become quite religious you know but bear in mind at the time i was the least likely in the house to become that and and, and it happened that oh, oh and they said that i was, I was gonna one of your one of your sons is gonna be very um creative and she was doing this like a keyboard oh you can't see a keyboard you know i can i can yeah oh yeah a keyboard motion as if i'm going to be on the on a keyboard yeah but a creative this is going back 30 years and i was like eight nine years old and and lo and behold here we are today i spend half my life on a keyboard there are some people that just seem to be connected to something that escapes yeah. the rest of us you know and it's yeah. fascinating that yeah that... yeah so yeah, it's it's, uh, it's crazy, isn't it? it's crazy. Yeah, crazy indeed. And she still she she she'll still go and see him, and they'll say things like, <clears throat> they'll say, "You're going to get a job," and the job will be on the, the between the seventeenth and the thirty first of, of January. And say, yeah, that's exactly what will happen. No way! Wow, yeah. that is. Like, I mean, the, that is. Like, I mean, really specific. Yeah, like, yeah, like to the T, to the T. Wow. Yeah, to the T, and you know, I I know that it's real. I know that they they do they do have abilities or whatever they tap into, whether it's spirits or whatever it is. I know that it's real. Oh yeah. I remember getting into debates about this because I've got a lot of people that I associate with and that told me that oh, it's not real. I said no, mate. Whether you think it's good or bad, mate, I'm telling you that they have. They're doing something and it's coming yeah. true. They're connected. To oh, it, so, yeah. yeah, it's real. It's real. So um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's really interesting stuff. You know, my favorite movie of all time is The Matrix. The Matrix. Really? Yeah, it's my favorite movie of all time, and it's because it touches on the the unknown and what's outside of reality, and that's where my work is influenced by. You know, space and galactic and what we don't know, and that's where, what the movie touches on: the, the world outside of the world. Oh yeah, the unknown and. You know, it questions reality, and I just I find that really interesting. Yeah, I love the idea. No, that's good stuff. Although I did watch the new Matrix, and it wasn't quite, it wasn't the same as the old. It was. It didn't meet your expectations, no. Yeah, yeah, it was all. It was, like, it was, it was good. It was good. But I think yeah. you know when you've watched the movie, and it's already kind of, it's already been groundbreaking. So you can't really add to that. They've already brought out that concept, and we've already seen it. You know, it's like right. There's it, nothing new there. It was kind of a continuation of, right? You know, with a, with a very twisted storyline. Yeah, it was. It was, you know, it was, it was. Yeah, did its job. Did its job. But that's about it, right? It, it yeah, just it did, did it. But, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. knock it. It did its job. It did its job. Yeah. Yeah. Although uh, I don't know if you're a Terminator fan, because me and my friend we always talk about this. We always say Terminator Two will never. Be replicated terminator 2 so, terminator 2 was epic mate that was that was all time classic <laughs> it was all time all time what how about yourself what are you into in terms of movies and that oh man i'm pretty eclectic in that. some of my 
some of my favourite um, uh, movies are actually really, really old. The yeah. um, and in fact, my favourite movie uh, of all time, seeing as we're doing all time, is actually um, uh, the day the Earth stood still. Not the one with Keanu Reeves, the original. Uh, film so that's the one where their uh flying saucer lands in central park and oh. this giant silver robot called gort comes out and is it an older film like is it like yeah yeah, yeah. no it's really old black and white oh. black and oh, white okay, um okay. film and because it says a lot about it says a lot about first contact with with you know another yeah pe people yeah. from another things from another planet it says a lot about the human condition it's uh, for me it works on a number of different levels, okay. but it's basically the human message is that we know we're so quick to rush to defense with these things and mm. the, you know, it's interesting stuff, mm. but no, that's, that's one of my favorites. Um, I kind of like Elf. <laughs> Elf. That's my wife's favorite movie ever. Oh, and we managed to escape watching it more than once this Christmas, which is You mean amazing. like Elf as in that, the, the Christmas movie, Elf? Like. As in the Christmas movie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, Karina Lindmeyer in the house. Guten Tag. Hello, hello. Oh, it's all going on. It's all going on out there. The, um, but yeah, I, I like sci-fi as well. I'm, I'm big into Star Trek, mate. Oh, I'm, yeah. a Star, I'm a Star Wars man. Come on. I like Star Wars as well. I you don't think they have to be mutually out. exclusive, right? Star I don't see... Yeah. You know. my, one of my best friends is a, is a diehard Star Trek fan. Like, I mean, like, he's a proper... When he watches, he's going to laugh. He's been trying to sell Star Trek to me for years. Oh, no, Star Trek is yeah. so, so good. Yeah. So, so good. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Easy. Yeah. You can't beat a bit of Trek, mate. Now, I am going to try on here. I kind of want to see what I get now if I run that oil paint filter again. Let's just try pushing that. Let's push everything to the max. Just here. Let's see what happens if I... Oh, yeah, that's what I'm after. Look at that. That's insane. That's definitely getting where I want to go. It's not quite where I want to go, okay. but it's helping me out, which love is it, the it. idea of having a tool, right? Love it. You love know, it. you could pound a nail into a piece of wood with a rock if you wanted to, but we have a hammer because it makes it easier. Now that's getting me much closer with minimum effort right. to where I want to be. That's kind of, I think that's optimistic. It's an optimistic tiger, you know, okay. getting there. Love it. Significant of change. All the colours are rainbow. Love it. Yeah, so I'll just carry on working on that. But no, Star Trek. Um, Star Wars, for me, is a very long, great story. And I love all the spin-offs. I like the, you know, I like the Mandalorian. Okay. Um, I haven't watched the Book of Boba Fett yet because we've got no internet at the new farmhouse yet. We probably won't have for another week or so. Right. Um, so I can watch it down here, but not at <laughs> home. Um, the uh but star trek for me star trek is again much more about people much more about the human condition and much more about our readiness to you know to how irrational it is to be angry with stuff all the time you know and it's more in depth isn't it Vanessa? yeah it's more it is it's it, it it requires a bit more thought that's that's the thing with it that's that's the that's where that kind of goes you know, it does require a little bit more thinking. And I like that. You know, I'm not averse to that at all. No. Um, Star Wars is only six episodes, says General Kenobi, which is interesting because General Kenobi, <laughs> you're in Star Wars, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. OK, I think that is an actual open public rejection of the spin-offs. That's what that's about. That's what I'm. That's what I'm now reading between the lines, and I'm seeing, you know, rejection of spin-offs. Spin-offs are not for me. They're not real Star Wars. So, so did you watch the J.J. Abrahams version? 
Yeah, I like a Star Trek. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What did you? Yeah, think? I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not worried about all the lens flare, you know. And I thought when people were saying about, you know, oh, it's, it's all lens flare and whatever. And I thought, why not? It adds atmosphere. It's, you know, it's electric dust. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. But, you know, hey ho. Like you know I said, what? Actually, I, I, I heard that Quentin Tarantino was going to do a Star Trek, you know. Now, that would be interesting. I mean, he's, you know, the thing is, a, a lot of his stuff's right, has been sensationalised for whatever reason, you know, for good marketing, really. You know, people expected his films to be like borderline horror fest. They weren't. They were gritty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but not that. They're going to get some whiskers in them on a bit. Mate, I can't believe how electric that looks that's the only way i can think of describing it Let's see that's the idea just what you you know you're well, i'm talking about yours not mine by the way just so you know <laughs> yeah yeah thanks yeah. it looks fantastic just um do you know i could i could just keep going i could i could go on all day just doing, do it adding adding more adding more you know when we when we stop shooting i'll probably keep adding more to it and just playing with it you know I'll do exactly the same. I'll pop mine on Discord, on the Adobe Discord, Adobe I, Live Discord. Yeah, do some, yeah. some point in the week, you know, maybe tomorrow, maybe Friday. No later than Friday. Okay. Yeah. But I'll pop mine in there. I'm trying to create a Discord group for myself, actually, just to... Are you? Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to celebrate abstract art and talk about abstract things and, you know... And, You've got a lot of different things going on at the moment, haven't you? You're, you really are branching out into a few. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. I've also got a. I'm going to put a lot of this stuff on uh, on as merchandise. Set it as merchandise. There's a site called Printful that will take care of everything for you. If you say if you set up a Wix site or a Squarespace site, yeah, just connect it to Printful, and then they will. They've got different manufacturers around the world that that will um, ship it out. So if you sell it on Wix, it will go straight through to Printful. Um, right, and then the printer will take care of it. They've got printers in Europe, in the US, and in Japan. So yeah, to make sure that the shipping costs are lower for your for your clients, you just got to do the marketing for it. So, so yeah, I want to get it on canvases, and and you can get on. They've got trainers. You can actually get you know the old the old kind of uh, plimps or like Converse. Yeah, that type of trainer. Yeah, and vans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vans. Like, oh, like, nice. like the vans, you can get it. You can get those types of trainers and you can you can super impose your design on there and then they'll print it out for you. You can even put your 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 tag or your, your brand inside the trainer. Yeah. And then I like it. Yeah, you can and they'll take care of it. Even the packaging, they'll even do it's even like white label packaging as well. So I have stuff off of Teespring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember Teespring. And uh yeah, I just uh like like these hats and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Just to point it out, if anybody thinks, oh, I'm going to go and get one of those, get a hat. If you're in the UK, don't buy the T-shirts because the people that, that's an ongoing debate with uh, with Teespring at the moment, the people they've elected as their partner um, here in the UK could perhaps be doing a slightly better job than they are <laughs> than they are at the minute. But no, you've. I'll, I'll have to. Um, I'll have to check out your merch. Yeah, it's. it's I've, I'm just finishing the, the site now. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm using. I'm using Wix. You know, I used to use um like Joomla WordPress. I used Joomla for years. I was Joomla. I was, like, I was a yeah. Joomla advocate, Tony. I was like, I was like, you know, like the Windows guys. I'm only on Windows. I was that guy for Joomla. Yeah. And then one day, I jumped on Wix just recently, and I used their 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 builder. And it was so good. I thought I can't go back. I can't go back. Really? I mean, I I'm I kind of I'm on the fence with those things because I, I get where you're coming from in terms of ease of use and flexibility and building. But the only thing I worry about, probably unfoundedly, right, it is 
you know, tying everything to a platform over which I have no control at all. I mean, you could say that about anything, I guess. But, you know, let's just say Wix suddenly decided they weren't going to do X, Y, or Z tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. You know, you kind of... Yeah, I understand that. Whereas Joomla, at least you could take what you... You could develop Joomla locally, yeah, yeah. using something like MAMP or whatever to do that. And then you could... Yeah. Did, did you use MAMP? Or WAMP? I, I, did I, did, you use... I, 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 did, I did it on cPanel, to be fair. Oh, I did. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, you can do that and you could port that to anywhere where there was a server. So if your current provider went down, you could think, right, okay, here's my database. Here's, you know, here's this stuff. Push that across. Yeah. Just make the necessary reconnections. A bit of a bind, but, you know, not like going down into the earth and fetching back coal, yeah, yeah. you know, so not uh, not super, super hard. But you could move it. Whereas you're right. You are I right. think you've got a little bit of a trade off. You know, I see some great Wix sites, really do, but I, I do think, you know, this is a trade-off yeah. between... 100%. You are right. You know. You are right. I've got one site. I've got one Wix site. I've still got yeah. all my Joomla sites there on my server. Like, my own my own stuff is done with Joomla. In fact, my main portfolio, which is gabnersworld.co.uk, got all yeah. plugged there. It's, uh, that's actually the, the Adobe portfolio that I use, that you get with Behance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's really good. I use that for my portfolio. And then all my other stuff uh, is, is Joomla. I actually had a Pretter Shop site. I had a Magento site. I've tried all of them. I look, well, not all of them, but I've tried quite a few. Um, so I, I, was a big, I was a big fan of anything on cPanel. Anything on cPanel, mate, I think. It was, you know, I'm but, still a WordPress boy, me, man. You're a WordPress guy, are you? I am, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I do still still like the wordpress there you go which i totally get i totally get it you know um yeah i think it's i think it's great wordpress i've got some really good plugins like front end mm. editing plugins that you just you can't knock yeah it, i mean it's got a big you know but like joomla big communities it's communities that make that stuff happen right that's the that's the thing it's the people that Add in these great, great things. Well, like, do you know what? I still, I still use Dreamweaver just to connect to the FTP and you know? just out of habit. So, I use Dreamweaver for you know that there's you know there's a Creative Cloud connector between Dreamweaver and Photoshop. Did you know that? I didn't know. Yeah, so you can you can create your layout in Photoshop. Right, and you can actually bring that across into Dreamweaver and just bring the assets in and then just tag up. It's really good. Mm. Really, really good. Okay. Wanna check that out? Okay. I will do, yeah. I still use it to this day. Just that just that habit. Dreamweaver had Dreamweaver had a completely a complete re engineering um a few years back. Like total. And um but it, it, unfortunately, I think a lot of the things with uh, with Dreamweaver it was it was a bit too little, too late for some people. I think, but yeah, yeah. And uh, I mean, Scott Fajet, who used to be the the Dreamweaver PM, still a friend of mine. We still, you know, I've been to see his band in Ohio. In fact, I did the cover for for his band's um, last album. Um. And he really, really loved Dreamweaver. As much as you can love, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can love a piece of software. So I'm wondering at what point, if at all, I abandon the symmetry. I'm kind of not feeling like I want to, really, because I like where it's going. <laughs> good. Fine. Good. Just kind of. What do you reckon? Yeah, I love it. I think I, it, you know what it's for me. It's the colours. I just think I'm. I'm really. I'm really thinking about doing a whole project, and it's literally the colours that you just chose. Literally that. It's joyful stuff, right? Yeah. Joyful. That's the thing. So I'm just blocking in some colour just here, and then what I'm doing is I'm using the picker to get the stuff that's neighbouring it. Sometimes I go right in. So I'm getting the stuff where the aliasings occurring, the anti-aliasings occurring. So I know that I'm getting the stuff right in the middle. Right. 
and then come out and brush that in because it i mean i know i could smudge them in but if i wanted to do them with an actual stroke and if i wanted the stroke to be evident beyond what i'm doing using the oil paint filter then it kind of works for me but I just want little bits of those colours poking through. But yeah. Tigers. How long have we got? Six, seven minutes? Uh, we have not got too long, about six minutes, mate. I hope we get the chance to do this again. I've really enjoyed doing this. 100%, mate. With you, it's been really good. Really good. You know what? Time's actually gone really quick. Doesn't it's feel like... flown by, hasn't it? Feels like it's been about half an hour to be here. Flown by. Oh, Charles is liking my target. Thank you, Charles. Yeah. Nice. People inspired by what we've been doing here, mate, which is fantastic. Yeah. Reverb Mike, appreciating the note for uh, Dreamweaver. And Steve Cossaboom, uh, Dreamweaver for me, since when it was still Macromedia. <laughs> <laughs> the... Uh, Nice. Um, and a bit of news for you, uh, Adobe Live fam. Uh, you'll be pleased to know, some of you will be pleased to know at any rate, uh, especially Gareth Hanks if he's in here. Um, I haven't had a chance to catch up on exactly who's in. Uh, film Club is coming back. Tony and Tim's Film Club will be back in February. Dun, dun, dun. The usual mix of drawing, music, tomfoolery, high-end engineering with the Tim Say. We'll be back doing that. So you got that to look forward to. No. Yes. Have you ever con do you, have you ever popped out one of these as wall art? Um, Gav popped out one of these. You know, just like throwing one out. Have you have you ever had one turned into into wall art? Sort of, you know, one of those printed wallpapers. I haven't, you know, no. Uh -huh. you no, know, I would. If you if you had a spare wall, I would do one and make sure that you're against it all the time, and you know. Yeah, do you know what? Because yeah, because we're moving next week, and actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get one of these. One yeah. Of these bushes behind me, and I get and I get a nice setup with my new camera and my new. I've got the uh, I've got the H the H four. I've got this as well. I've got. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. My, my camera here. I'm going to be using all that stuff. So I'm going to have a nicer setup in a couple yeah. of weeks. So yeah, I'll, I'll definitely look to get one. Although yeah. I'm not sure who's best. To, I might get a canvas, to be fair. I might even get a big, whatever's best. I mean. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. No, you should. I think it would be really good to do that. Really good. Yeah. Yeah, so anything if there's what what else have you got anything else going on in the last sort of three minutes that we've got? Have you got anything else that's going on that you'd like to like to bring people's attention to? Anything you're working on or projects that you're starting? Or? Uh, I, I'm literally I'm 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 creating I'm creating a new swirly project and it's going to yeah. be iridescent most likely, and I'm going to have it as uh, available as merchandise and uh, you can get it as an NFT. Um, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much that, really. All at Gavner's World. Every handle is Gavner's World. Yeah. Just experimenting with my, with my, my original style of art that I find therapeutic. I actually, uh, actually it's a bit of therapy for me. You know, this is what it is. So nice. No, well, I look forward to seeing more stuff. Like I said. I hope we get to the chance to do this again. I know that you're going to be coming back to us real soon. You won't be too far. Yeah. Uh, it's like last time. It's been months and months and months, but you're going to come back again fairly soon, yeah. which will be really good. So we we'll can look forward to that. It'd be nice to do something like this again. How did you find it? You find it all right? You find it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. It's a bit more relaxing, isn't it? When there's two of you working, it's kind of, and it does feel like, you know, you're actually at work, but you're just chatting to a mate and it's, it's you know. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I well, it's like easy it. when it's you, Tony. I mean, it's easy. It all depends oh, on who's walking to you. <laughs> see. It all depends. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Well, you know, I love chatting to you. You know what? It's really great. Always great to spend time with you. Yeah. So, no, mate, brilliant. Really, really enjoyed it. Well, to everybody here, I hope you've enjoyed the session as much as we have uh, today. I'll be dropping this onto Discord. Tim's just going to pop the Discord uh, link back in the chat uh, for us. So you've got that if you want that. Go ahead and grab that. You can also find it, just in case you are watching on YouTube and you're not seeing the chat, uh, if you go to... Uh, the uh, YouTube channel, 
uh, or, or in the description of the YouTube channel, you'll find the Discord down at the bottom there uh, as well. So Monday, Tuesday and Wednesdays now is the format for Adobe Live. So if you're turning up at 12 on Friday, no one will be here. We'll all be doing other stuff. So <laughs> come along and catch us uh, next Monday. And uh, But for now, fabulous, mate. Once again, really lovely to spend time with you. Really lovely. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, have a great rest of your week, weekend, you and everybody else. But for now, from myself and Gavin, cheerio. Take care now. Take care, guys. Bye.